Today I will download MPLAB and use it to write an assembly code for big microcontrollers. So let's go to the website and type MPLAB, MPLAB. So now this is MPLAB. Let's click on there and if you see this is microchip website and uh, if you go down there in the downloads there's a version for windows and for linux and for mac let's click it for mac for myself if you have windows you can you need to download mplab ide 4.01 this is the latest uh, version of mplab so let's wait till it's finish okay now uh, the, M uh, the MB lab is being downloaded so let's open the downloads folder this is the one double click on it okay so open it So this is the MB lab. Next, let's do the setup. Click next. Click on accept agreement. Next. So there is no proxy system proxy. So which one we need to, we need to have both, both, check boxes, okay, so now it's downloading, So this is the one, there's some comments here anyway, I don't care. So now it's ready for working, let's just open, this is a microchip website, okay. So there is actually a lot of uh, uh, tutorials and documents you can find it in the MB uh, microchip uh, technologies so as you can see here we have documentations and different uh, uh, let's call it uh, source, source codes and examples it's all available here you can try it so like code examples and different kind of source code okay let me close the website and let's complete this and let's go to the where is the MB lab this is the one so I need to open the MB lab IDE <laughs> So this is the first time I downloaded this uh, ID in my computer. 
probably it needs more files but let's give it a try let's write as a, a symbol a simply code for one of the picks okay so let's close this one and start a new project okay so file new project I need standalone project there are different options you have if you have an existing project or you need to have a library project you need to create any other things there is uh, also samples for project they are ready you can use them but anyway for me I'm gonna use uh, standalone project next uh, here you need to select which which family or your pick you're gonna use so there are three or four families I'm gonna use the baseline one there is also mid-range and advanced but I'm gonna use baseline and in the baseline I'm gonna use the B16 F8778 let's search for it 16 F this is 16 F I don't see pick 16 F what is that uh, I don't see it here let's okay so let's change the family is it mid-range I get it's mid-range okay yeah it's mid-range it's not baseline family so 16f8778 okay so this is the 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 pick family or the pick I'm gonna use uh, so let's click next uh, here you need to define the hardware tool so in our case we're gonna use the simulator right now which basically it means that you need to simulate the source code or the assembly code uh, within the MB lab here the, the other things other uh, selections one of them is picket 2 and picket 3 here this is these are when you want to download your source code into the uh, 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 pick microcontroller to run it on, on your hardware so right now we need to have simulator next so he's downloaded it's download the list uh, please select compiler I need to have the MP ASM so this is my compiler next so let's call it experiment experiment one. so this is experiment one okay so this is my project name here I can define the location, a location for it. So if I go to the desktop, oh, no, let's go to the home desktop and define a new folder within the desktop. Let's call it MB Lab Project. Okay. So I defined a folder called MBLAB project. Uh, yeah, no, this is lab. It's not. Uh, yeah, this is the one. Okay. And I should open it. So now open. Uh, the rest I keep it the same way. No change. So now I have created a project let me close this page so now, now I have experiment project where I have different kind of folders so my source file should be here so I feel need, I need to create a new a new let's go to the other and select let me see yeah, assemblyfile.asm. So assemblyfile.asm next. Let's call it output port. So 
basically I need to download uh, sorry write a code to to uh, display uh, uh, an output uh, into one of the ports okay finish okay this is the source code this is the editor where I need to write like, my source code 